Nuclear power without the dangerous radiation. The tantalizing dream of the Tokamak reactor on this edition of Science Alive. And it's Anna Adamak, she's a curator of natural resources here at Science and Technology Museums of Canada. We're wearing gloves and standing in front of a dream. What's the dream we're in front of? Uh, the dream is the dream of nuclear fusion. Uh, we are in front of Tokamak, Canada's nuclear fusion reactor. Now nuclear fusion, that's different than what a nuclear reactor is. Uh, there are two types of nuclear reactor. Nuclear fusion reactor, which fuses together nucle nuclei. Okay. And nuclear fission reactors, which break atoms apart. Right. We are in front of the nuclear fusion reactor. So the dream is it will produce electricity differently it, than what we do now. Yes, it would produce huge amounts of clean and inexpensive uh, energy. So no radiation? No radiation, no radioactive waste, very little fuel. And how old is this dream? Well, the dream is, uh, goes back to 1940s, uh, early 1950s, but in Canada, actually, this nuclear reactor went online in 1984. Now, this is a great big, huge science experiment. How do you build a tokamak? Tokamak is basically a donut-shaped steel container. Okay. It has to be made of very high quality steel. You right. can see how shiny and polished the steel is. Yep. This is because we have to ensure that we achieve vacuum inside this container. In, so inside the tokamak, yep. you have magnets. These magnets allow us to create in the vacuum electromagnetic field. Okay. And that field contains very, very hot plasma and allows it to circulate very fast. And the plasma, so when this thing will be up and running, would it be glowing and we'd be seeing plasma through the window? You would see, windows? you would see some glow from it. You would see the plasma quickly circulating inside right. until it achieves fusion. And the construction of this, like each, each individual bolt, how much would that have cost to make? It's actually, this is something that's very interesting for a historian of technology to look at. Is, is this physical artifact? Um, we can look at different elements. So each of those screws would cost about two to three hundred dollars. Each of the windows would cost about five hundred dollars. Right. Um, we can see which parts were custom made, which parts were ordered from catalogs. Uh, yeah. We can also see different notations that people left on the machine itself. So it shows us that relationship be between scientists and the machine. One of the scientists actually signed his name. He signed his name on it. And what happened here? This doesn't look like uh, stainless steel to me. So this to me is a proof that there was a vacuum leak okay. in, the, in this machine, which would be a serious problem. Right. And it has been quite crudely repaired. Great. Now the vision of Tokamak is to generate clean electricity. How far away do you think we are from this overall global experiment ever being finished? I think we still have a way to go. We do see that there was, we, we see splatter of plasma right. in, inside the tokamak, so we know that plasma was circulating there at a very high speed. We also see little snowflakes that uh, tell us that there was electrical discharge, but there is no evidence of actually fusion. Right, so the experiment continues. The experiment continues. Anna, thank you for explaining the tokamak to us. Thank you.